you can also create multiple components together in Figma. So over here to do that, I'm going to go around over here on to the rectangle shape. Let me just go around, make a rectangle right here. Let me just go around over here and make an ellipse right here. Let me just go around over here and then make a polygon over here as well. Let me just change around the color for each of these. So let me just go around, change the color. I'm just going to create random shapes right here. So I'm going to go around right here and bring in a star on this one. Let me just copy and paste this and then uh, drag this out. Hold Alt and drag this as well. So over here, you can see that I got three stars and I'm going to go around and select out yellow. So this is what I have. You can see that I got three objects um, right here, three different objects. Let me just group this out, group out this selection right here, group this out as well, and group this out. So let's say I want these three components to be different. I don't want them to be saved out as one component. Then what you can do is you can select out all three of these right here. So these are the three groups. Let's select all three of these. And over here on the top, you can see that create component is an option. So you should go around over here on the drop down menu where you have an option uh, to create multiple components as you can see. So if I were to go around and click on create multiple components, then all of the three groups are converted into separate components now. So if I were to go to assets right here, you can see that instead of being a single component, you can see that they are three separate components now. And that is how you can create multiple components inside of Figma in a design file. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.